Kovnik Joseph Grigorovich, Kador Wintergard character solo. Being Wintergard is not glamorous. It does not bring the prestige associated with the heavily armored infantry, the cavalry, or even the Widowmakers. But without the Winter Guard, there would be no Kadoran army. They are more than just a backbone. They are the entire body. It's flesh, blood, muscle, and sinew. And no one understands this better than Josef Grigorovich. He is a living embodiment of Kadoran military discipline and an inheritor to an ancient legacy of fearless soldiers. He is the fighting spirit of the implacable North. He does not question orders, he executes them. He does not dwell on losses, but only moves forward with his men, however few, to seize victory. Gagorovich knows no war is won without payment in blood, but he is not reckless. There is no risk he asks of his men that he would not accept himself, and he would gladly die with them. He's a shrewd tactician, and even Supreme Commandant Iris praises his victories. For Gagorovich, the secret to his success rests in his ability to spend the lives of soldiers only as the necessary coin to achieve his objectives. Exceptionally tall and thick-framed even by Kadoran standards, Grigorovich is older than he looks, having enlisted at his home city of Skirov when Ivan Venar was still king. Many men his junior sit in comfortable retirement advising the high command, or serving as commanders or commandants from the wharf of command posts. This is of no concern to Grigorovich, who thinks such men are jealous of him. He is allowed the daily joy of battle, the chance to fight directly in the wars of his nation. A day he cannot kill an enemy of the motherland is a wasted day for him. Grigorovich served at many posts during his first tours of duty, among other fresh conscripts, and he enlisted at every opportunity to explore Kador's expansive borders. He has watched the walls of Midfast in the south, been stationed at garrison port Valavar, and spent time in the frozen icy peaks bordering rule. It took 20 years of service to find his true home with the unbreakable 111th Infantry Battalion, the core of the First Border Legion. Since his transfer there in 593, Grigorovich has refused to leave the 111th. He enjoys nothing more than pitting wits and abilities against the southern enemy. In 598, he accepted a promotion to full Kovnik, only because he was given command over the entire battalion. Kogorovich commanded the 111th during the years of constant warfare between Ravensgard and Northgard. There he became one of the most recognizable and trusted officers serving on the front lines. After the fall of Northgard, Kogorovich and the 111th were among the most unrelenting Kadorans to pursue the retreating Signaran First Army. The First Border Legion pushed the Signarans all the way south to the Dragon's Tongue River to Corvus and Port Bourne, where they remain after the declaration of a ceasefire. Grigorovich looks across the river at the city of Corvus and keeps his men in a state of readiness, anticipating the orders he knows will come soon. Grigorovich is famed for his oratory power. The commanding ring of his distinct voice rises in eloquence and passionate speeches that pushes his men to heroic acts of sacrifice in the name of the motherland. They are even willing to throw themselves into harm's way to protect their god of battle. Hello fellow War Mahort fans, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below, and hit that bell notification to let you know when I drop my next video. Also, if you're still new to War Mahorts, make sure to check out my other War Mahort lore videos found in both the description and on screen. Thank you and enjoy your day.